Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Prep. Uh, today we're going to be battling at that Asian Ivan. Uh, I got him from Twitter. And uh, we'll get right into it. Um, right into it. I clicked the button and it wasn't going. So I'm going to say good luck and have fun. I am bringing the same... Oh, I said luck luck. Good luck luck. Good luck luck. Good luck luck to you. Good luck and have fun. Alright, so I'm bringing the same team that I have been bringing. It's going to be Charizard, Mega Y, Mr. Mime, Kecleon, Scrafty, Trevenant, and Rhydon. We're going to be battling against an Ampharos most, most, most definitely. Well, I, I can't say definitely, but it's most likely going to be Mega. Um, Sableye, Talonflame, Hawlucha, um, blah, 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 Mamoswine, and Gengar. So... Looking at this team, um, Blastoise hits Talonflame, Hawlucha, uh, Mamoswine, all super effectively, with the potential to hit Mega Amphro super effectively. So I'm going to have to bring... Did I just say Blastoise? Yeah, I don't have Blastoise, so never mind. Um, thinking of the wrong team, and now I'm stuck back a little bit. So looking at this team, I think our um, Charizard... Mr. Mime combo is going to work really well in the beginning. Um, paired up with um, Rhydon for the Ampharos and... Um, mm, no, not Rhydon for the Ampharos. We're going to get uh, Trevenant for the Ampharos, unfortunately, because Rhydon's not going to be able to take a lot of other things either. We do have a pretty bad Ice Weakness and Flying Weakness. Yeah, we have a big Ice I have to bring Rhydon anyway, so yeah. Okay, that works for me. Um, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I mean, this isn't my team, as I've mentioned before. I've taken this from Nugget Bridge, and I honestly, people keep saying the guy's name, and I keep forgetting it. But um, it just fits so perfectly into my style. Um, but it does have that big Talonflame weakness. Uh, Rhydon's really the only thing that can take Choice Band Talonflame. Um, so, for me, it's really really hard to change it up now um, I don't really know what Hawluchas do um, I think Hawluchas get rock slide but since it's not gonna be stab I think I can survive it so my main bet is actually gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna flamethrower the um, um, Sableye, and I'm gonna just go straight for a Dazzling Gleam, and, and I think that should be good. Now, if you guys haven't heard the news, um, in Mega, in, in Mega, in, um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they announced Mega Sableye, and Sableye is gonna be so cool, and I, I, I've always loved Sableye, and with Prankster, it's great. Now, could you just imagine being able to, like, switch between Prankster, and then, like, once you get all your Prankster stuff done, you just switch right into that amazing, like, um, whatever it is. So he is gonna go for the rock side. Oh, we're gonna get the flinch and the double flinch and the butter, 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 butter. Oh well. Um, so obviously I can't keep my Charizard in because that rock slide will indeed kill me. Um, and I can't wide guard. So I'm gonna switch in my Giovanni, my Rhydon. Um, I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. That first turn really did suck for me. Um, I believe without a doubt that Sableye would have been dead that turn. A uh, Flamethrower in the Sun plus a Dazzling Gleam would most likely kill that Sableye, especially considering Sableyes don't have very good special defenses. Um, I thought I saw a Rock Slide coming, so I went for... I knew I would survive it, at least. I can survive a Garchomp, and I know for a fact uh, Holucha does not have nearly as much attack as Garchomp does, so... It's pretty confident, and as you can see, that confidence was perfectly justified. But unfortunately, that double flinch, um, it's literally, I believe, oh no, if it missed both my Pokemon, it's a 1% chance. I think that double flinch is just independent, so we'll have to see. But if he doesn't get this double flinch again, we should be good. We should be solid. We should be golden. Um, that is fine. I really don't care. This Dazzling Gleam should do a whole heck of a lot of damage to you. Uh, not as much to the, uh, the, um, the, uh, Sable as I was really intending, but still not too bad. It does do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to that Hawlucha. So with that in mind, I'm actually just going to go for a, uh, 
I'm gonna protect because I'm actually I'm I'm expecting either an attack from um, Halucha, which would be a high jump kick, or a burn coming from Sableye, so I can get this uh, dazzling gleam off. And potentially get that Sableye. Um, I don't want my Rhydon burnt because Rhydon is a very strong Pokemon. Um, and it, it really does have a lot of attack to its name. And uh, getting that burn is really going to provide really unfortunate things for me. Um, but really, you know, this team doesn't function... This So far, the team's not really functioning terribly against his team. Um... Is really just that double flinch that really got me, because that Sableye would be dead. Um, I believe, I believe the Sableye would be dead, so it would literally just be the Hallucha against us, and that would be easy enough to protect. Um, obviously, I wouldn't have, to, I couldn't wide guard because of the taunt, but I don't know. So he's gonna Willow Wisp me like I thought, and high jump kick like I thought, killing himself in the process. So this dazzling gleam is gonna hit the Sableye as if it's the only Pokemon on the field, which is actually really good and something I wasn't planning for. So it's gonna do a lot more damage than last turn. Um, enough to take it out. So even though we got hacks, and this is why I say, you know, most hacks really isn't the end of the world because as you can see, it really destroyed us. But in the end, that first turn didn't really count because even though we have a Charizard at in yellow health, 46 HP out of 182, I believe. Um, we're still in a really good place, right? We're still in a really good place. So I'm pretty excited about that. And this Ampharos actually can't do anything, um, believe it or not. Uh, it's actually in a really bad place. So I'm gonna drill run the, uh, the Ampharos. I think I can take any one attack from this, um, Mamoswine. Now, I think it could potentially go for Ice Shard, um, it could go for Earthquake, um, I'm not really sure what it would do, to be quite honest with you, so I'm thinking I can just Dazzling Gleam just to get some attacks off, um, I think that might be my best attack, but yeah, I'm gonna go for that, um, if he does in fact, I, um, oh, he's gonna, okay, he's gonna protect there, that's unfortunate, um, He's gonna go for Earthquake, I think, because that is spread. That won't kill either of my Pokemon, actually. No, it, it kills the uh, this Mr. Mime. Uh, and does quite a lot to ride on, actually. Um, it's Life Orb, though, so that's good to know. Um, we only have that much left. I'm gonna bring in um, my Trevenant and... Um, Should I go for Trick Room? That, that's the question. Um, I don't know. Because uh, losing that Mr. Mime, I really, I was going to go for Quick, I wasn't going to go for Wide Guard, so no matter what I did, it wouldn't have really mattered. Um, I have a feeling he's going to just try and kill the Rhydon, because the Rhydon really does threaten his Ampharos the most. So he's probably going to go for... Um, ice, icicle crash on me. Um, so I'm gonna go for Trick Room here, and that'll be good enough, I think. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to underspeed this um, Ampharos, but with Lightning Rod on the field, I don't think it's really gonna matter too much. Um, we'll, we'll have to see, obviously. And, and like I said, it is Mega Ampharos, so that's good to know. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get that Protect off. Let's see what he's gonna do. I'm hoping you go for an Ice ice move. On to the Trevenant! Oh, man, I really thought you were going to attack the Rhydon, because it did scare your team the most. Uh, and, wow, even, even there. I'm glad I didn't get the Trick Room off, though, because now, now my Pokemon will be, um, strong, faster, 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 faster. Um, Sun's gone, though, that's unfortunate. Um, so, <laughs> that's really bad. Really, really bad. Um, I think... I have to go for... Oh, wait, we brought the sun back in. That's actually pretty good for us. Um, I can't really do very much against this Ampharos. So I'm going to drill run the Ampharos. I have to go for that. And I'm going to solar beam the uh, Mamoswine. Life Orb Mamoswine hits like a truck. Really should have brought um, Scrafty, to be quite honest, over uh, Trevenant. Um, I think that might have been a better option. Uh don't quote me on that. We'll try in the next battle. He is going to go for that Ice Shard onto the Charizard. Oh, that Life Orb has really proven him to be really useful. Um, we will get the Drill Run off. No, he's faster than us. Oh, man, I wish I got Trick Run off. <laughs> and he will kill us. Crit did not matter. So, uh, good game. Uh, best 2 out of 3. 
Alright, well, hey, what are you gonna do? I mean, that first turn hacks really was pretty crucial, um, but honestly, 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 that's why it's best two out of three. You always get a second chance, and that really showed me that Trevenant really didn't do very much for me. Gave me too much of a Mammoth Swine weakness, and especially on a team where there was Mammoth Swine. Um, I don't want to bring Mammoth, I don't want to bring Trevenant. Um, as you can see, the strongest moves that Mammal Swine had for us, the Ice School Crash and Earthquake, didn't do enough to take us out. So, with that in mind, Rhydon's definitely going to be a staple. I'm probably going to start with Mr. Mime again, because that was a pretty solid combo for us. Um, and I believe... I could Quick Guard, too. I'm going to start off with Charizard and Mr. Mime. I'm going to bring my Rhydon. Um, Mammal Swine gave me problems, but I don't really think I have too much for Mammal Swine outside of Scrafty, so Scrafty's going to have to come. Um, that leaves me pretty good in a pretty good spot. Um, Gengar's still going to be a problem, I think. Um, I usually use Kecleon for Gengar, but if it's only for Gengar, I, it's not really worth it. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, so we'll have to see. If I lose this, is, I mean, it's really not the end of the world. Um, I'm working on a couple of my own teams now. Uh, obviously, I have the Blastoise team, and that that's a really good team, if I do say so myself. It works really well, um, and if I play it well, it obviously will work really well. It's going to start off with the same Pokemon, actually. Um, but I'm going to play a little bit smarter this time. I'm not going to double attack. Um, I'm actually just going to go for, straight for the Mega Evolution. I'm going to Flamethrower the Sableye, and I'm going to go for a Wide Guard to get rid of that Rock Slide. Um, he's probably going to taunt me like he did last turn. That's completely fine. Or go for Knock Off. I don't know. But the Wide Guard will protect me from the Rock Slide. And hey, maybe I jumped into that round a little bit too quickly. But um, honestly... It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as I'm having fun and you guys are entertained, I think that's all that really matters. We don't have to win every battle. Uh, it's not about that. It's about having fun, and I'm certainly having fun. Although, though, that rock slide! Oh, my God. See, don't, don't complain about hacks. You will punch yourself in the eye. Ow. Ugh. It's going to go for taunt. That's fair. I don't really care sometimes. As long as I got that first rock slide protection off... That's all I care about. Um, so I'll get that flamethrower off. That should do... Oh, that's a perfect KO. Perfect. Not even a crit. I dig it. Um, so the taunt will wear off in, I think, three turns. So one turn, three turn, four turn. Um, so on the third turn or the fourth turn. Um, but we'll see. It's at the end, so we'll see that. Um, he's going to bring in the, uh, the Mammoth Swine this turn. And... Um, I think I'm just going to protect with my Charizard and go for a Dazzling Gleam and see what happens. Mr. Mime should be able to take at least one attack, two attacks, the Rock Slide and an Earthquake, because uh, obviously Hawlucha, even though it's on the ground, does not have to worry about Earthquakes because it is flying. Um, he's going to just double attack the Mr. Mime. I kind of thought he might... Um, I don't know why I just didn't think that through, but whatever. Um, I won't survive. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I'll at least be able to get my Scrafty in here, um, which will thread in both of his Pokemon. Um, and will actually do pretty good for me. Um, I think I will Flamethrower the Hawlucha, um, and Drain Punch the Mamoswine. Um, or at least fake out the Mamoswine for the first turn. Um, I could fake out the Hawlucha, but it's at negative one. I could be flinched, but I'm... that's the thing. I could be flinched, and I really don't know if I want to risk it. Um, he had. I'm just gonna go for the flamethrower against the um, Hall Lucha, and I'm gonna fake out whatever, whatever the the Mammoth Swine, or if he switches out, because I think he might switch out. Uh, that's a pretty good option for him. So let's see. Let's see. But yeah, I'm working on a team, and when I made it, it was I was trying to redo the... Oh, he is going to withdraw. I should have faked out the Hawlucha. Oh, that's fine. I still have Ice Punch for it. Um, and I still have my... High Jump Kick. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh my god, I thought... Oh, that wasn't too bad. 
That actually really wasn't too bad. Um, then he should die this turn. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Um, that gives me a, a bit of a problem, though. Um, his Ampharos is faster than me, so I need to save my Rhydon, so I can't switch out, unfortunately. Um, I think... I don't think I can survive a Flamethrower, but I need to get rid of this Mamoswine, so I'm actually just going to Solar Beam the Mamoswine and protect with my Scrafty, hoping it he goes for the Ice Shard against my Scrafty. Um, cause that would be the best move I could po potentially do. Um, I really, sh I really should have faked out that, that uh, Hall Lucha. I was thinking about it, but at, at the same time, I really didn't think it was going to be that useful. But if I can get rid of this Mamoswine this turn, and um, I think I should outspeed the, the Ampharos. Um, that could work for me pretty well. Um, especially if, if, if I KO the Mamoswine this turn, um, two against one against the Ampharos, I should be in a pretty good good position, especially since I have Ice Punch and Drill Run. Um, no! Really? Oh, man. Super, super protect, protect prediction. <laughs> oh, man. That's unfortunate. I don't know if we can come back. If he attacks us, he's gonna Thunder Wave us. Okay. He's not gonna attack us. Um, I'm still gonna go for Solar Beam. Um, and I'm gonna go for Ice Punch, or should I go for Drain Punch? Um, I'm gonna go for Drain Punch onto the Mammal Swan just in case. Oh, that was a bad idea. Whatever, whatever. He's gonna Ice Shard the Scrafty, so it's actually not too. Oh my god, we survived! Wait, wait, wait. Who are you attacking with the Dragon Pulse? Who are you attacking with the Dragon Pulse? Scrafty! Oh! Wait a second, this might still work out for us. If we can't KO the Mammoth Swine in one hit, we lose. But if we can, we win. Because he still has to take out the Charizard. And, okay, 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 that's good. That's good. We've got a full health Ampharos who can't Thunderbolt anymore. Remember that. He can't Thunderbolt. Um, he can't... We have only Flamethrower for it, which is going to do very little damage. But I'm going to have to go for it anyway. Um, I could go for Ancient Power and hope for the boost, but I don't know. The, there's a good chance that he can win. Ampharos is very, very bulky. And if he was smart, he would probably try and take out uh, Charizard first, which he's not going to. And the reason I say Charizard first is because Rhydon hits hard. It's physical, and Ampharos isn't very physically defensive, and this flamethrower might actually kill, and it will, so that's going to be a win for us. We're going to have to go one more. Um, good game, um, and I think I might bring the same Pokemon. I like that matchup. I like the lead. I like the matchup. He seems to like his own matchup, too, even though we keep bringing things that can really, really handle that, but now he knows we have wide guard, so that's going to be an issue, um, I think. I might go for Quick Guard next turn, this time, if he starts off with Sableye. Um, he knows we have Quick Guard, because... No, wait, I never used Quick Guard. He doesn't know we have Quick Guard. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'll try and figure it out. I will figure it out. No worries on that. So, one more battle. Best two out of three. This is actually pretty intense, uh, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm literally doing the same thing that I did last turn. Um, he doesn't seem to want to bring the Gengar, because the Gengar really doesn't have much for us. He's not bringing the Talonflame because we do keep bringing the Rhydon. Um, Rhydon's doing pretty well for us. Rhydon's been very clutch so far. Even though we lost the first game, Rhydon was pretty useful in the first game, so. He's probably thinking up a, a little bit different, because we, we've consistently brought the same lead. And, um, for his team, that lead really is the best. It really, truly without a doubt, is the best, um, so yeah, but, I, I just, I just chose, I was like, yep, choosing done, bye, <laughs> excuse me, but, um, whoo, <gasps> but yeah, someone, uh, so I, so I battled X-Rays Ovation the other day, and I was looking at the comments on his video, and, uh, someone was like, you know, in t dog, shush, go home, go home, yeah! Okay, um, someone commented saying, you know, Banded Talonflame hits 5 out of 6 Pokemon on my team, and I'm like, you're right, you are very right, and, um, 
The only thing about that that I'm not too worried about is Rhydon. Um, Rhydon is literally the perfect Talonflame counter, and um, I don't have to worry about Talonflame at all as long as I can keep my Rhydon alive. And sometimes I have issues, you know, sometimes I want to sacrifice Rhydon to get another kill, and um, oh, finally Gengar. Um, and other times, you know, that doesn't happen, so... <sighs> It's hard. It's hard to say, you know. Um, I'm gonna mega here, and I'm just gonna flamethrower the. Um, actually, I'm gonna solar beam the. No, he knows that's coming. I'm gonna. Oh, oh! I almost forfeited. Oh no, 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 no! I don't want to forfeit. I'm gonna mega flamethrower the Gengar, and uh, I'm gonna bring in Scrafty to take the Ghost and or Poison move. Even though I can't really take Poison that well. Um, I'm decently bulky, and I think I should have a good chance against that. Uh, obviously, I don't, I don't know for a fact, <laughs> but um, I've never actually brought in a Gengar, uh, a Scrafty versus a Gengar, so I can't say I know. But um, he's actually going to withdraw for the Ampharos. Um, I guess expecting a Solar Beam, but um, I figured he'd expect that and just try and kill the uh, the Mr. Mime on this turn. So I switched out for my Scrafty, as I said, uh, which actually really isn't a bad position for me. Um, if the Sludge Bomb, which I'm expecting to come my way, unless he's running Thunderbolt, which is a very odd choice for VGC Gengar, but um, either way. So we'll see. Aha, my foot is twitching and it hurts. So he's going to go for Sludge Bomb like I thought. Um, does a little bit more. Oh, and he gets the Poison. Oh, that's so sad. Um, oh well, um, but he will die almost instantaneously, so that still works well in my favor. Um, and I'm not paralyzed, so I'll still be able to get a good attack off onto that uh, Ampharos. And I know I can survive an Ice Shard if he decides to bring in an Ice Sharding Pokemon, aka Mr. Uh, Mamoswine, um, who's most likely thick, thick fat. Um, so I'm going to go for a double attack onto the Ampharos, because I'm expecting a protect here. Um, Flamethrower and Ice Punch should be more than enough to take out the Ampharos, um, if it Mega Evolves. If it doesn't Mega Evolve, ooh, he's such a fantastic player then. I mean, as you can see already, he is a very fantastic player, but um, I'm hoping we can outwit him, right? We gotta, we gotta outwit him. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Um... I thought I heard someone coming home, but oh my god! <laughs> um, I like taking teams from Nugget Bridge because they're proven to be effective, and then I use them, and then I figure out, you know, things that would probably, you know, work well for me. So he's going to Mega with the Anfro, so fingers crossed he's going to protect with the Mammal Swine, and our Ice Punch Fire Flamethrower thing will work. Um, if not, we might lose something. Oh, we avoid the attack, thankfully. So Flamethrower is going to go off. It's not going to do a lot. It's It really won't. But, oh, he's faster than the Scrafty. Wow. Wow, that is the fastest Ampharos I've ever seen. Um, but we're going to get that Ice Punch off, and I think that should do enough. Wow, that did nothing. Oh, really, 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 really. Oh, man. Um, I still have two Pokemon, so I'm going to... Um... Let's see, who do I have? I have Miss Mime and Giovanni. Um, it's not a good spot to be in. A paralyzed Charizard is actually pretty bad. Um, I think I will protect with my Charizard, and I will Drain Punch the Ampharos. So I'm hoping that's a good play. Hoping, because the poison will kill me. Uh, the Ice Shard shouldn't kill me this turn. I don't know why he's going for Ice Shard, though. He is faster than me. Um, oh, he's going to protect with the Mammal Swine. Yes. That means you're probably attacking my Charizard. No, you're protecting yourself. Oh, um, that's not good. What could you do to me? Um, damn it. Okay. Um, poison will put me in KO range. Um, so I'm actually just going to pull a double switch here, I think. I think double switch might be my best play. I'm going to bring in Rhydon where Charizard is, and I'm going to bring in Mr. Mime where Scrafty is. Mr. Mime's not going to take an attack for anything, but, um, this way if Ampharos decides to Dragon Pulse, uh, Mr. Mime, 
won't work. If it decides to Thunderbolt, it won't work. And for the most part, Ampharos's only carry Thunderbolt and Dragon Pulse. Uh, this one might have Discharge as well because there is a Mammal Swine on the field, but either way, that kind of just. Well, Discharge will still hit my um, Mime. But um, it won't hit my ch my uh, right on so, and it's spread so it's not gonna be as strong and I should be able to take it because I do have good special defense. Um, so let's see, you're gonna go for Ice Shard as I predicted onto the Mr. Mime. Um, that's gonna do a lot, a lot for that amount of HP. Um, and you are gonna Thunderbolt uh, the Charizard. As you can see, it didn't pop up with Lightning Rod, so so he didn't actually target the Mr. Mime. Um, so I predict you to, um, to Earthquake and Protect here, so I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I don't think I've used Trick Room at all. Yep, someone is home. As you can hear my dog barking in the background, she's excited both for Pokemon and for family to be home. Shush! Shush! So he is gonna Protect with the Ampharos, as I predicted. So he's gonna go for that Earthquake, so I'm gonna get that Protect off. I I should survive an earthquake. I really should. Um, with my Mr. Mime, at least. Please let me. You know you wanna. Oh, no! No! I can go for Rock Slide, though, and that will... That will KO one of them, I think. Oh, wait! I still have Pokemon. What am I thinking here? I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do here. Um, actually, I have a really good option. I have Fake Out on my Scrafty, so I'm going to Fake Out. I'm going to go for Rock Slide, which should do enough damage to both of these Pokemon, and I'm going to Fake Out the the Mammal Swine. I don't think I've shown Fake Out yet. Um, I still have my Charizard. I don't know what his third Pokemon is. I keep forgetting it. Was it shown yet? It was. He started off with Gengar and the, the Mammal Swine, right? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna withdraw again! Really? Wow, okay. Oh! Uh, I don't know. Um, who are you dragon pulsing? Who are you dragon pulsing? Who are you doing? Oh, please survive, please survive. Yeah, ooh. That was like, le that was less than half. Sweet, so this rock slide should do quite a lot. Yeah, a critical hit. I honestly don't think that crit, crit really mattered. Um, but I think my Scrafty will go down this turn, I believe. And he's probably going to... Um... No, I'm not. Okay, he's probably going to burn my Rhydon, which is not going to be good for me. But I'm still going to try and get off a Rock Slide here. Um, he might go for Earthquake, too. Uh, I'm going to go for Rock Slide because it's super effective against that. Um, and I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch onto the Mammal Swine, just in case, like, say he attacks the Rhydon instead. Um, that could work for me pretty well if he wants to get rid of the Rhydon. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if that's probably the best bet. Um, please? <laughs> Alright. So he's, he's thinking really hard about this, and there's always those awkward pauses that I never know what to do. What? That was weird. Why did that come out that way? <laughs> oh well. So he's gonna protect. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> I just, now I, I really can't win now, because um, the poison will kill me this turn. Um, that protect is really fantastic. Uh, the rock slide won't help oh, any avoid. Eh, it doesn't matter. It wouldn't have done very much. I don't think I could come back from that. Um, I do have a f fully healthy Charizard though, so there's always a good chance. Uh, you never know. Um, I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording. And um, I don't know. I don't think I can. What? What? I don't think I can one-shot any of these Pokemon. Um, I'm going to Drill Run the Sableye, because that will do a lot of damage. I'm going to Solar Beam the Mammal Swine. It's my only option. Um, Ice Shard should not KO my Rhydon, but Icicle Crash will. Um, so let's see what he does. I don't know if... He, I think he realized... No, because I, I never got a chance to get off Trick Room. Um, so I don't think he realizes we're Trick Room yet. Um... So I think he might think his Mammoth Swine's slower than Rhydon. I don't know, because he kept going for Ice Shard and stuff like that. So I can't really say, but um, I'm pretty certain he's probably going to go for Ice Shard. 
um, and this solar beam will do stuff. Um, he's gonna go for Icicle Crash, unfortunately, but as long as it's not Charizard, it is Charizard. Why are you, wait. Wow, that did a lot. Um, don't flinch us. Double attacking. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> so that's going to be the battle, because this drill run won't kill this Sableye, I don't think. Um, yeah, it's going to barely do anything. So that's going to be game right there. I'm just looking out the window, because it looks like it's going to start downpouring any minute now. Um, so I, I have to go for Rock Slide, even though it's not going to do very much. Um, I could forfeit if I really wanted to, because there's literally no way for me to win here. But, um, I'm just gonna go for the Rock Slide. I could protect two, but what's that gonna do for me? I'm just gonna burn. Um, and he, both of his Pokemon are most definitely faster than me. He's gonna go for Ice Shard anyway, um, and that's gonna kill me. So, good game, man. Thank you so much for the battle, and, um, so I'm gonna, you know, good game. Thanks. Hiccup. Thanks for the battle. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, I hope to see you at the next video. Peace.